My name is Daniel Monwick and I work for BirdLife South Africa, the country partner to BirdLife International. I manage the important bird and biodiversity areas program and this is a network of sites that, are, that is critical for the conservation of our country's birds. Behind me you see Lake Chrissy, one of the largest inland natural lakes in the country and forms part of a network of over 350 lakes and pans in this area known as the Mpumalanga Lakes District. This critical water system is situated in the heart of South Africa's grassland biome, one of our most important yet least protected vegetation types. This entire area is also an important bird and biodiversity area, proclaimed by BirdLife South Africa because of the large numbers of water birds that congregate here, as well as the threatened grassland birds that use the surrounding grasslands. The land is mostly privately owned and used for cattle farming and tourism and up until January this year was unprotected. For the past three years, BirdLife South Africa, in collaboration with government and NGO partners, has been working with these landowners to convince them of the environmental and social significance of this area and to gain their support to formally proclaim this lake and grassland system as a protected environment under the biodiversity stewardship model. Biodiversity stewardship allows landowners to continue managing their land for economic gain while supporting them to simultaneously manage for biodiversity and ecological integrity, which often can lead to increased profits. This model is collaborative in nature, allowing landowners to take ownership of conserving their land, with the support and incentives coming from government and NGOs. It also allows product productive land to remain in production, thereby supporting local economies. Biodiversity stewardship veers away from fences and fines, but rather encourages inclusive decision-making and best-practice land management. This recent proclamation of over 70,000 hectares of this important grass and habitat is a landmark agreement and a practical model for protected area expansion in a developing country where conservation resources are scarce and mineral resources are in demand.